Today the talk is about sex for Mark in our university. Yes, that really is the most dangerous thing that has ever happened. Not that it didn't, it doesn't happen in other countries, but the sanctions are such that you don't even try it. And if you did for any reason, then you're ready really to be thrown out of the place. But again, we went through a period when anything goes in Nigeria as it were, and it affected academia. And so um, we have people really trying to destroy the system because that's what it does. If, if you can have a lecturer offering you sex to give you marks you don't deserve, what is there to compare with? I mean, if you all knew this particular female, he said, on the head, and then he comes up with a 2 1, what does it do to you? Does it make you work harder? And it's becoming so rampant. Well, I hope it will be checked before it gets too rampant. The professor is in prison already. Well, I hope many more of them will go to prison if you if they really is like subverting a system. It's a system, I mean, going to university is not meant to be for everybody. You really not only have to have attained a certain level of mental development, but you must be prepared to work hard to continue to develop it. And that's what the university is all about, help to develop your intellectual capabilities. Can this university system yes. produce a developed Nigeria? Yes, but it has to go back to the original intention of those who started higher education, which is that it is the product of industry, of working hard, of you, you know, not just working hard like, a, 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 what do I call it? But you have also to be thinking ahead. You have to be creative. You have to be thinking, what else can we do in this area? What needs to be invented? What needs to be uh, restructured? That's the whole purpose of academic life that you, you're not comfortable, you don't accept the present as the best. Deep thinking. You have to keep thinking deep. And that's why, as they say, we grew up from the tradition of uh, the, what you call the, the theologians, you know, the people who are not allowed to worry too much about the comfort of this earth, mm. you know, that you can commit yourself more to thinking about what to do, how to improve the system, how to change it for the better. You know, some would say the Mabo Gujes, the Aboya days, uh, the last members of the golden generation, and we should forget it after they are gone. No, because their products are still there. They may be submerged for now, but what that generation stood for, which is to be excellent in whatever you find yourself asked to do, is not gone. It will be appreciated eventually, but the generation would come that appreciates that that's the only way for a nation to grow. If we blame the lecturers, yes. what about the family that produces children that succumb to these form of threats from lecturers? Has family done well in raising children? Of course not. I mean, there's no way, you, you know, it's part of the dereliction of duty. When a family can't make sure that their children are doing what they should do, 
I mean, when my children come to see me, they all grown up now, but they tell me stories of what I did to them as a kid because they have to be disciplined, they have to be made to work hard, they have to be made to know there's no other way to success than to work hard. If a family misses, if the head of the family misses to do that and think there's a shortcut, uh, go and mess yourself up with lecturers so your daughter can have marks, things like that or your daughter gets used to really finding a shortcut to what really is a personal... You know, the, the thing that amazes me is that grown up like parents can be stupid enough to think that you can buy what has to do with the brain of your child. You buy the certificate, the you, paper. Okay. It's a but, paper economy. Good, but as soon as your child turns up, that can only be useful for about two months or so because the people who will then employ him with that paper will suddenly start to see that he doesn't merit whatever position you've given him, that he's not adding anything. I mean, I'm sure if we were to look at why there is so much unemployment, it's really because a lot of those out there a sizable number, don't have what it takes not only to think about what to do with themselves, but really that uh, 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 they, they haven't been brought up to be able to see what they, what they can make out of the environment. Do you want to warn the university community? Warn them? Yes. Do you want to advise them? All I can advise them is to hold on to the standards, what it takes to be a university. Uh, I mean, it's all there. You don't need an outsider coming to preach to you to maintain standard, to maintain integrity, to maintain what it takes, your academic standard, that there is no way you can get it right if you compromise on those. Now, part of the problem I have is that associations are built up in universities, like I said, like ASU, which was really, when I was in the university, I wasn't, I didn't think they were, should be in the trade union movement. I think it was dragging themselves down to go and join the trade union movement. But that's what they made themselves. And so uh, anything goes. It becomes not so much fighting for the best, it's fighting for whatever is common. D3, at the end of the day, collapsed because it was made with the Ministry of Agriculture. Yes. But hold on. It wasn't meant to be a surviving it was meant as a remedial organization. Okay. So it wasn't meant to So it had a be, li lifespan? It had a lifespan. How, how, how many years? Well, as you said, at the end of it, it went back to the Ministry of Agriculture. But it was because there were things the Ministry of Agriculture wasn't doing that DIFRI came up. It wasn't meant to replace the ministry. And after that, the rural areas remained underdeveloped. Well, the ministry went back to its old ways. And the old ways remain? It has the constitutional... I mean, DIFRI was a special case to help restore, as you said, roads, uh, uh, rural infrastructure, mm. directorate of food, roads, and rural infrastructure. It achieved its, what it was set up to do. Temporarily. It, it wasn't meant, as I said, it wasn't meant to be a substitute for the ministry.